hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be discussing the cost of living here in spain um so i live in gran canaria in the canary islands and i'm currently working as an english language assistant yeah basically just jump into it so the first cost is going to be rent so i pay 250 um not including utilities so i'm gonna round it up to 300 because utilities is fairly cheap like luckily the weather here is really nice so we don't need heating or air conditioning so yeah it's 300 a month for rent i do live in a smaller town so it's not the capital um so it's probably going to be a little bit more if you're living in like a big city um but yeah in general it's super cheap i share an apartment and i get you know a room and it's pretty nice it's 300 for rent and then groceries i spend about 160 euros a month so that's 40 euros a week i'm in the grocery store like every day <laughs> like literally i tend to cook a lot of my own food and i feel like I do save money that way. Um, not that eating out is like super, super expensive, but obviously if you're doing it every day, then you're going to be <laughs> spending a lot. So yeah, I prefer to cook my own food and it's also healthier too. And then I put 80 on going out, so going out to eat, getting drinks, stuff like that. So that's about 20 euros of like going out, you know, once a week, getting a couple of drinks and a meal or whatever. And then 10 euros for my phone. So that's, I don't know how many gigs. It's like... I never use it up so yeah 10 euros for my phone luckily as of now the buses are free in Gran Canaria so i don't pay anything for transport but even before that it was only 10 euros and then i've also budgeted 50 euros for miscellaneous sometimes i want to go shopping you know i want to buy something like a perfume or clothes or rings or whatever so, so altogether that adds up to 600 euros a month which i feel like is pretty good um my salary is 820 euros so i still have about 200 euros left over and I basically just put that towards traveling, so I'm not technically saving any money, but I mean, I'm only working like 14 hours a week, so I really can't complain. I think if you were doing 12 hours a week, I know in some regions they do 12 hours to get 700 euros, that might be a little bit tough. Um, but yeah, it's definitely enough to live either way. Um, I would say in terms of budgeting tips, there's not really a lot like it is common sense. I would say the biggest thing is rent, like try to find a cheap place. Like I know people are paying 400, 500, even 600 for rent. And that just like that makes such a big difference. You know, if you're going to be saving 200 euros a month on your rent, then you're going to have so much more money left over um, to go out and do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's my cost of living. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.